I left home at 16, came out at 19, didn't so much come out as explored actually. Um, and then I became secretary of Lesbians and Gay Support the Miners and that's a whole story on its own. But I think the thing that really politicised me more than anything else was coming out. Um, I came out in 1973 and I'm afraid I absorbed all the homophobic tropes around me that I was variously mad, sad and bad. So I was a very kind of depressed and scared uh, adolescent and, and late teenager. And then eventually the penny dropped and that was just the magic moment when I just thought, actually, maybe they're right. Maybe there isn't anything wrong with it. And then it's like, it's like an epiphany because you just go from having been oppressed and frustrated and, and unhappy to just incandescently joyous because all the guilt and all the fear disappears and incandescently angry at the same time, which is a strange mixture. You know, so if I've been lied about about who I am and what we are, maybe it's the same for black people, maybe it's the same for women, etc, etc. So that was a, it was a kind of lightning moment, really, just for all that to, to fall into place. And a lot of us like me, who, who you know, been volunteers on Gay Switchboard, we t so much experience of time after time after time, meeting heterosexual men, who'd never met an out gay person before, and their prejudices would 99% of the time just melt away within minutes because they'd never met anybody who was out and proud of it, yeah? And that, I was so used to that happening, and then we, we kind of knew it would be the same with the miners. But Gays the World was, by the time the miners' strike came along, Gays the World was already a well-established business. And to, to refer to it as a bookshop is to really misunderstand it. Back then it had a little coffee bar. Uh, it also had a notice board. Uh, and again, you've got to remember this is, say, 1984. Uh, landlords would kick you out, possibly, if, if you came out as gay. So that notice board did flat share things, do you know what I mean? So gay and lesbian flat share. Uh, and the coffee bar, I mean, it's a tiny little coffee bar, it was only seating for about six or seven people, but that became an incredibly important focus to people, you know. It was, a f for many people, I think, it would be the first time they'd have ever met other gay people who were out, you know. And it, it, it's amazing in that kind of struggle how people find uh, strength, skills, abilities that they never knew they had, yeah. Uh, and that was true of us, it was true of the miners. So those of us who were able to, it was really important to come out because that there's no greater expression than actually coming out. So that's the most important, significant thing anybody can do. Mm -hmm.